Signs of damage and destruction lined Gordonton Road in St. Andrew on Monday, causing major disruption in several communities. The first major blockage was this enormous landslide, which left boulders, branches and large deposits of dirt loose from the top of the hill into the Hope River. Hundreds of people populated the road as they tried to brave the rubble. This resident says he has been walking for hours. From a place they call Two Sister Rock, the road is very difficult. About how long have you been walking now? Well, possibly about two hours. Further up the road, there was an even greater destruction. This road was estimated to be about 18 feet wide. Now the intense rain has left only about three feet of road and this light post swinging. The massive breakaway has forced residents to traverse only on bikes or foot. Mr. George has been living in the community for more than 80 years, but says he has not seen anything like this before. All those hurricanes that passed through, Gilbert, Dean, Flora, all those hurricanes, this is the first ever. We used to get some small landslide, but nothing like that because the road never tear away like that. But while the residents acknowledge that this is the result of a natural disaster, they say the magnitude of the damage could have been prevented. That's a broke long time. It's not today. Anyway. They have a yellow car just like around it before. And the road break in two. And these big units with them care of all type of things and it help shift the road. So now we get this constant one week, two week rain. We expect the whole place never cave in. While the tractor cleared sections of the roadway, some persons took the risk of crossing at the same time. The tractor has already cleared a large amount of rocks and dirt from the roadway. On both sides, residents are at a standstill as they wait to continue their journey. Now, my colleague, Paige Dixon, visited Harbour View this morning to assess the damage in that community. She now reports.